Alright my friends, so you asked, can I please do an After Effects tutorial on how to make S Blur Mo Curves in vanilla, similar to your S Shake video. I got you bro. It's fairly simple. So I'm going to take two video clips right here, just like this, and where I want my transition to be at, I'm going to cut it. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be cut, but... I just like it that way. And what you're gonna wanna do is add a motion tile. So you'll see what motion tile does. If I scale this video down, motion tile, if I increase the output width and output height, it'll increase the bounds of the video. Just put that on mirror edges so that it reflects, doesn't look like choppy and weird. Uh, and basically, what I like to do is set up my keyframes like this, right? So I go to the end of the video, the end of the first clip, and I go back however many keyframes I decide. Depends on how long you want the transition to be. So let's just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Set a keyframe there. Uh, set a keyframe here at the end. And then I'm going to make this. Um, this keyframe at the end, like 150, so it's going to zoom in. Um, and the way I think about it is whatever you do for this one, you start the second one the opposite of, right? So we went up 50 from the base, which was 100. So for this one, we're going to go down 50. We're going to set this to 50. We're also going to add the motion tile. Um, also, I was actually showing you the motion tile for the first clip, just so you can understand how it works, but it's not necessary since, like for this first clip, since it's gonna be zooming in and you're not gonna see the edges anyway, but for this one it's necessary since it's gonna start zoomed out. We're starting at minus 50. And how many keyframes did we go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, all right, like 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. And then we're going to reset the scale back to its original. I think it's an extra. All right. So we're going to select the keyframes here, F9. And uh, we can, let's use the value graph for here. So for the second clip, we're going to want to start off fast and go slow. So, so the graph is going to look like that. For the first clip, we're going to start off slow and then go fast. So the graph is going to look like this. And then now we have this. And all we basically do right now is add motion blur. And of course, you can like uh, play with these like uh, to get different speeds and things like that. And for position, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm not going to show you the full thing, but basically you start, choose a starting position, go to the end and then choose another position. Uh, so like if the starting position, the base position is 960, let's just say 960 plus uh, 300, right? So now you're going to see it moves that way. For this one, we would uh, do 960 minus 300. You do the opposite. Oops, that's the scale. So 960 minus 300, right? And reset it. And then you see how it's like, how it would work. Well, I already came this far, so I might as well finish it. Uh, for Oh, for position, you'd want to use the speed graph. It's just easier. You can actually use the speed graph for the other one. I just like to use the value graph. All right. And so you can kind of see how we have that position here. And you can layer them and things like that. Um, you can actually use an adjustment layer. 
and add a transform effect. Um, and it's basically the same concept. You can add keyframes here, here, and then that way you can like layer multiple of them on top of each other. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Peace.